I have a question. If you're a woman over 50, 55, or even over 60 or 65, what do you want most in your life at this stage? What I want now is so vastly different from what I wanted when I was younger. I want relationships that are really meaningful, and I want companionship, and I want to do fun things. Just answer the question if you feel like it. Today, I'm going to be working in my big blue book because I think it's fun to do things that really have no particular purpose. I had a little disaster yesterday. The first part of the video didn't film. What I'm going to do is run the tail end and you can sort of see how I put it all together. And then I'm going to do the companion page on this video. So it's kind of like a video and a half in one. All right, I'm just going to cut this and use it to cover up that writing for painting big skies and blue seas susan sugar finds endless inspiration in her key west artist paradise well i think i would too i would be just fine with having the key west artist paradise all right i'm going to put that there and i might even put a little bit of something around it i want these corners to really stick down so i'm going to glue right off the end here. There's that. Okay, now I want to find a, a tropical kind of look but here that will go with this. I'm going to go with this one because of the shape and the colors. Okay. There, I think that looks really nice. And, and now a little bit of sparkle. So that gives you kind of a picture of where I've been with this page. But one thing that was missed that, you know, got cut accidentally was I wanted to share this book with you, which I found the other day when I was in Vancouver, called Sticker Studio Flora, A Sticker Gallery of Beautiful Blooms. And you saw me just choose some things from it, but it has uh, flowers of all kinds, and then in between on the backs of the pages where the sticky stuff is, it's got sayings and quotes and whatever. So I thought I would just quickly kind of flip through it so you could have a look at it. And I put the, uh, the link for it below, but the flowers in it are just beautiful. They have different colored backgrounds, so you can kind of choose to, um, to suit your mood and whatever kind of flower. And one of the things I really liked about it was it has a lot of watercolor in it. A lot of these flowers are, are done in watercolor. And as you know, watercolor is one of my favorite things. I'm going to be probably using a couple more. It's got these very stylized flowers and more watercolor ones. And then themes like this is sort of tropical, um, more stylized sort of things you see in decor and wallpaper and whatnot and just some different kinds of illustrations some more stylized ones and then autumn and this is sort of going into winter i would say and then for some reason it goes straight into sp spring and berries or i don't know like this is a midsummer kind of thing but just a quick flip through for you there's some christmas things and then spring stuff and again some more stylized and some really pretty soft ones. So I might be using that again, but I really wanted to show it to you because it's just so gorgeous. Now for this page, which is kind of, you know, this is part of a spread. I've decided to go with this backing. With this one, I wanted to actually show a little bit more of this, but it kind of didn't work out. I suppose I could have cut more off here and moved that over just so the back background would show a little bit more but I'm okay with it it's um, it doesn't matter you know what you do it's probably going to look pretty anyway so this one has an edge I need to get rid of and I don't think this has an upside or a downside it looks like it'll fit very well here so I'm just going to go ahead with this now I, I bought something today that I might be able to use here I was in a dollar store today and I found these. I thought these are so pretty and I have a I have a plan for them. So if you haven't subscribed yet, 
do because what what's coming up is going to be really interesting. And then I got this uh, scraping and smur smurling, smoothing tool, which these things are always next to impossible to get into. But I thought it would help kind of spread the glue around. So I'm going to give it a try anyway. And we'll just get going on this. Of course, my glue wants to clog up again. My day has not actually gone all that well today. I um, started out last night, had a little, um, shall we say, wildlife adventure. Yeah, there was a mouse in my room. And it was funny because I was had been in the bathroom and I... I thought I heard a little sound and I thought well, maybe I was just mistaken and um, and then I went to bed and I was reading in bed and I thought I saw something you know just go from the bathroom over to the dresser and I thought oh maybe it was just a trick of the light because my I think my husband had just move the door or something. I use reading glasses in bed because I don't really want to use my prescription glasses. So I kind of dismissed it and then a few minutes later it went back and I thought okay there really is a mouse in this room. So I called my husband he was doing some he was in about a different bathroom and he came in I said it ran into the into the bathroom the ensuite. So you know being Mr. Hero he went and had a look and and saw nothing, you know. I think this might be a good idea, actually, just to flatten the glue out. I'm glad I bought this. It was only a few dollars. Anyway, there's our start. I picked up a bunch of, picked out a bunch of, of, um, color, of pictures sort of on a color theme that kind of goes with that. Now, this is a little bit too bright, so I'm not sure about that one. But, um, I like this. Um, it just appeals to me. So I think I'm going to start with that. Anyway, he couldn't find the, the mouse. And so he just said, well, I don't know where it went. I can't find it there. So so I started reading again. And then it it ran back to under the dresser. Came out of the bathroom, ran under the dresser. I said, I found it again. It came. It came back. It's out again. So he looked under the dresser and couldn't see anything and, you know, and then it ran back to the bathroom and we did the whole thing over again. We looked all over and we figured out, well, how it started was he had um, got some toilet paper from under the cover in the cupboard and he pulled it out and he said, I think we got a mouse in here because this stuff is all shredded. I'm like, oh, it certainly looks like it. Anyway, uh, we pulled all that out and realized that it must have come in uh, at the drain for the outlet for the sink, one of the sinks in the bathroom. It was nowhere to be found. So I thought, well, I'm just going to I'm just going to close the door. I put a towel, jammed a towel up against it, you know, cuz there's like this much space under the door. And uh, and went to sleep. Now, I should mention that uh, I'm not phased by things like that because I grew up on a farm and, you know, wildlife is just part of it. Okay, this, yeah, I'm going to put this here. He got out the only trap we had, which was a rickety old thing, put, put some cheese on it, apparently. And um, next morning I got up and there was no cheese and no mouse. So I was like, okay, where is that mouse? And I realized it probably went down the heating um, register, the heat register, because the um, spaces are quite, quite big. Well, they're like a half an inch, also known as a centimeter or so apart, these little slats. And, and a mouse could easily squeeze down there because they can get through the most tiny spaces. So I thought, okay, if it went down there, it could come up anywhere in the house. Well, lo and behold, no, first I went out this, I went out this morning, first thing, 
and um, you know, got up, got dressed. In fact, I woke up at 5.30, which is ridiculous. I, I really don't like waking up that early. And I, so I got up. I love this yellow flower, but I'm not sure I'm going to use it. I might cut it out. I got up, got dressed and everything. The theme for these pages is color, I guess. The hardware store was open at 8, so I I went over there and picked up a couple of mouse traps. And, and then I came home and I thought, first I had to figure out how to set them, because I haven't done it for like 100 years. So, and... And then what to use for bait. So I uh, so I googled it, which is what we all do when we need to know something. And it said um, they like peanut butter best. You know, they like seeds and nuts, so use peanut butter or something like that. And I'm like, okay, well, that's kind of what I had planned to use anyway, but it was nice to know that I was on the right track. So I set my traps and put them uh, along the floorboards under the sink, by the sink, where the little guy came in. Guy or girl. Then I had to go out this morning for grocery shopping because we're having guests in, in a few days. And uh, I came back and not, there's no mouse in that trap. So I thought, okay, it's somewhere else in the house probably. Okay, this solves two problems. One is this big green space which is kind of useless. I wish this was a little bit smaller but I like it anyway. I love all the colors. So I'm going to use this this time because this glue feels really wet today. Maybe it's just humid or something. Anyway, um, so I came home, put away my groceries, had something to eat and I was sitting in my office slash studio looking at my iMovie to edit, you know, the scrap so video that actually survived and figuring out where to go from here kind of thing and I hear this scrabbling in the closet you know it's there's obviously something going on in there and so I um I thought okay you little stinker now I know where you are and I don't know if it was chewing on something or what but it was it was in there. Kind of wish I'd cut off more of this green, but maybe I'll just cover it up with one of those stickers. Now I want something sort of skinny in here, maybe, or the boots are cute. I think I'm gonna cut out the boots. The cups, mm, not so much. I don't love them. And then in the back, there's just a car. Anyway, I heard I hear this um, scrabbling around in the closet. And I thought, you little stinker, I've got you now. So I slowly opened one of the closet doors. They're sliding doors. Things went silent. And then I went into the bathroom and picked up one of the mouse traps. The the thing on online that I found was, you know, how to how to catch a mouse. It said, wear rubber gloves because they can smell you if you touch it, if you touch the trap, and they, it'll, they'll avoid it. So I went, okay, I'm going to grab in the gloves. And so I went and picked up one of the uh, traps, and they also said to put it, they like to run alongside something. I've got a couple of wooden boxes on the bottom, like on sitting on the floor of the closet, that I have kids' toys in them because I have grandkids who come and play. I thought this is the perfect place to put this. So I set it down there, and then I went back to my desk, and I thought, you know what? I think mice like it dark. So I closed the closet door, and all was quiet. And then I heard, snap! So the mouse met its timely demise in the jaws of the mouse trap. Like I said, I'm a farm girl, so killing a mouse does not hurt my feelings. And if, this, if that bothers you, I'm sorry. But when you have a mouse running around your house doing whatever it wants to and chewing on whatever it wants to, you might feel differently, just just saying. Consequently, I didn't go to sleep till probably after 12.30 last night and woke up at 
and when I woke up I thought no please please <laughs> I need more sleep I stayed in bed for a little while and finally I went okay it's over I might as well admit it and I got up so I, I feel like I've been up for a long time however here I am redoing the video that I, well I couldn't redo I had to move on from the video that, that didn't work yesterday. So I'm really hoping it works today. Yeah, okay. So that's my wild adventure for the day and night, and I can do without that. And now that the mouse has gone, the thing is that the mouse couldn't get back out the hole that it came in because we filled it up and plugged it up with steel wool and took out the mouse's um, climbing gym, which was rolls of toilet paper stacked in. Now, I don't think I'm going to put too much else on this page. It seems like like it's um, not, you know, not very full, but this one is so crammed. I thought, well, maybe I'll just leave this a little bit. But I do want to put something here to cover that up because I honestly don't need it. So let's try again with some of these. Or see what's in this pile. Anyway, the question that I asked at the start of this video, what prompted it was just a comment on TikTok and about something about what women want, especially women, like I said, in sort of our age group, like the last last third of life, shall we say. And um, it came as no surprise to me that. What a lot of women were saying was, you know, what irritates me most is other, is other people. And, you know, part of that is, is hormonal. Because you get to a certain point in life and you go, you know what, I'm just, I just don't suffer fools gladly anymore. However, I'm, I don't want to make any kind of judgments because I can only speak for myself. Which is why I asked the question. So, and what I'm thinking for me is, you know, I, you like things that are meaningful. And you, you might also feel like you've spent a lot of years doing stuff that works more for other people than for you, and or does for other people, which is fine. I mean, we all want to do things for people we care about. But sometimes we put ourselves at the very tail end and end up not living the life we really want. That's That's my point. You know, this kind of paper doesn't take... These, this color very well. So I might just use a marker or a pen or something and go around it so it stands out a little bit more. I think that's what I gotta do. So there's, for me, there's a lot of things that I've stopped doing and, and kind of stopped caring about, you know. Um, I was talking to a friend yesterday and we were part of a book group for years. I was a, one of the founding members and I was the last one standing because out of the 10 to 12 people it was sort of, you know, it wasn't always exactly the same. Out of all these people, everybody moved away except my friend and me, including my sister who moved across the country like a five hour flight away. And I live in Canada so when I say across the country it is a long way because it is a big place here. Okay, let's see about putting some marks around that. I'd get out paint, except that I'm just kind of not equipped today. I'm a little bit rattled by everything. So I'm just going to outline this in black and hope it looks okay. But again, this magazine paper, which is so slick, the ink will smear if you're not careful. Anyway, my friend said all these people moved away and moved out of our lives and lost contact. And, you know, it wasn't like we were bosom buddies or anything. We were just friends for years kind of thing. And they all moved away and left the two of us. So we've actually become quite close. And it, she said, I'm looking at it as a blessing because of how things happened. Now, I, what I want to do here is put this same tape around here and then I'm going to figure out what else I want in this picture. Because I feel like these edges are kind of raw. And over here I just put in a couple of little pieces of this bright pink tape. So I just want to overlap it here a little bit. I want to make sure that I'm lining up with the edge and not going over it significantly. 
am getting it on straight and I can't really see it so I'm going to use my finger to find the edges. If I wasn't if I was doing this without filming it I would just turn it upside down. Oh I should have put my boots up a little higher. It's too late to move them now they're too stuck down and the paper's too fragile to try and lift off. Anyway I want meaningful relationships. I'm not really crazy about superficial ones. You know, like there's, I live in a small town, so there's lots of people that I see on a semi-regular basis or now and then. And it's like, hi, how are you? I haven't seen you for a while sort of thing. But if if I had a problem, I'd never go to them. You know what I mean? I would never say, well, I'm going to call up Joanne or whoever. I don't know anybody named Joanne. So that's just a name. When there's no closeness, then it's it's what I call a tertiary relationship. So there's primary, secondary, and tertiary. So that's like in the inner circle, the second circle, and the third circle. Okay, I am going to put this. See, this thing was a good idea. When I, when I picked it up, I thought, do I really need this thing? But you know what? I'm liking it already. It keeps my fingers from getting too sticky. Okay, I'm going to put this down the center so that it just cleans up this edge. And also, I've found with this calendar, on some of the pages, the, the staples have kind of let go. So one of the other things I really want to do is just to have more fun. I have worked very hard for a very long time, and with some success and some not, and gone through some very difficult things. And you know, if you're in my age group, you probably have too. And so I want to just enjoy my life instead of having it be a try-hard life all the time. One of the things that I really love to do is travel. And to be honest, I'm not really even the best traveler because my system is so sensitive that, you know, I don't sleep very well sometimes. And, okay, let's just get that right into that corner. This thing is just so handy. That works very well. You know, I live a pretty quiet life, but I want to enjoy it. I want to read good books. Okay, wait. I'm in love with this right now, so I'm going to use it. But first, I am going to put some of this tape here and there. Hmm. Should I put it on first? Yes. I'm going to put some right there and run it over the edge a little bit. Because that'll just, it just kind of looks raw edgy. So one of the goals for my business has been just don't work so hard. I don't want to work so hard. You know what? This is kind of fun. So when I look ahead, you know, what I want to do in my business, I, I've asked myself, what's the most fun? And doing things like this is just really fun. It's fun for me. I hope it's fun for you. You know, I enjoy just getting on here and having a little chit chat. I feel like I'm just having a chat with my friends. And when you comment, it feels all the more like that. I love the comments and I, I do reply to all of them. So thank you, thank you, thank you if you do comment. We love it. Okay, I like that. Okay, now um, I want something here and I want something to sort of pull this together and cover up those raw edges. So I'm going to need something a little bit on the big side. This is all pink and this is pink. So I'm thinking... Um, something a little more green. Just need something sort of roundish. It's kind of simple and not very big, but that's okay. That'll work. I'm going to put it right here. And then I think I'll use this long leaf for here, because that will sort of cover up those raw edges and just kind of pull it together. I forget what that leaf is called. Okay. Okay, there we go. All right, there, there, does it look done? Does it look like it works together? I think it does, yeah, I think so. Almost tempted to put something here. I wish I hadn't put that down first. I should have put the tape down and then put that down so that the edge isn't covered up. It looks okay, but you know, I think 
if I just go along this edge, it will maybe look like it was intentional. So these are one of those little things. You know, the thing with glue books is none of it really matters very much. So if you're a perfectionist, just let that go and just go, oh, well, if it didn't turn out perfectly how you thought you wanted it, just go, oh, well, there's always another page. It's like my husband just had a big birthday and he got a telescope. He's kind of a, a flight and space kind of guy. So he got a telescope from um, my daughter and her husband. And he wanted to catch the moon coming over the mountain where you can see the treetops. Like we live surrounded by mountains. He wanted to see the treetops um, outlined against the moon. But by the time the moon was coming up, it was going to be quite late. And there was a cloud and that cloud wouldn't move. And finally the cloud moved, but it was getting late and he was getting really tired <laughs> so so he said oh i just couldn't stay up i couldn't i couldn't set up the telescope and take a picture and all that with the moon cuz it, it looks very dramatic i said well don't worry about it there's always going to be another moon you know it comes up every night what about that one it's not all that exciting but i think i'll use it anyway just kind of fills in this big beige space. And beige, as we know, well, it's not my color. My aunt once told me, flee beige. It's like, don't ever go near beige. And I'm like, okay. Well, it was good advice in my case because beige looks dreadful on me, but there. I think that works. Kind of kind of works in. I love these bright, bright colors. Anyway. Um, where to go from here? Go to one of the videos that I'm posting here and choose which one you like. and Or you can choose the playlist for a glue book or mixed media or whatever and just let them play. There's two reasons for that. One, you can just have it in the background if you want to hear my voice, which, you know, not everybody does. I get that. But the other is you can just look at it and relax and get some ideas and whatnot. And it actually helps me for watch time because that's how Google decides how popular my videos are and rewards me if there's if it's coming to me, which is really helpful. Anyway, have a look at uh, some of these videos and uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time.